remember this. It's been a while. And in just under two months, Final Fantasy VII Remake Part 2, aka Rebirth, is coming out, which is crazy. This didn't download? Are you kidding me? What were those 83 gigs for then? There's some contention about how people feel about this. I am one of the people that likes it as it is because I like that it's a sequel as much as it is a remake. So I'm really excited for Rebirth because I think that's where... I mean, it's also a make or break in a lot of ways too. Someone said FF6 better. Like, I actually like 9 and 6 better than, than 7, but I still love 7. <laughs> Fucking love Barrett so much. Get down here, Merc. <laughs> yeah, do your show off flip. Also, don't let me hear people shitting on Cloud. Because Cloud has so much more going on than people immediately remember or think. This game looks You're coming with us. really, really good. Easy. Don't think so. Not bad. In 60 FPS on the PS5. We hope that Final down. Fantasy VII Rebirth... Oh my god. Nice death pose. Badger. This is a one-time gig. When it's done, we're done. When I first played this, I didn't know who this voice actor was, but having seen Breaking Bad, it's just so much better. One of the things that it did really right for me was character expansion, especially Biggs, uh, Jesse, and Wedge. Look up Tifa expansion to learn more. <laughs> Come on. This add-on is Who's ready that? to use. So, you know Tifa, right? It's not really my business. <laughs> Should have asked for more money. <laughs> Barrett, get through the lasers, Barrett. Yo, Badger, what are you doing? You taking down a Mako reactor? Jesse, we can use Mako to make green meth. No, Mr. White, you don't want to do that. That's the souls of the planet, Mr. White. You start remembering other people's shit, Mr. White. It's crazy. Worst trip I ever had. Jesse, I don't care if people want to vape souls. Yo, Vape Souls is my favorite PS5 game, Mr. White! Eight minutes left. Twenty minutes. Pretty cocky, ain't you? <gasps> you double-crossing! Heads up. What in the hell? Boy, Shinra sure makes some fucked up shit. Hey, All in the name of just this? killing to think they just had a guy power wash this thing, too. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. There was a fucking... Power Wash DLC for this game. Yeah, get that shit. Get that shit, Clud. Man, Barrett is telling this lots of enemies to suck on something. Any minute now. Any minute now, we can play the Yuffie DLC. Any minute now. It's like, Barrett, did you really need to do a dive? Cloud is dead! Hey, you really gonna make me deal with this on my own? Cloud, it's time. It's installed! The limit break was enough to push it over the edge. Let's do this. Here we go. Get him, Clut! It's not gonna go down easy. Focus! You focus, soldier boy! Definitely a cool fight, and really kind of gets you familiar with the combat style, pretty immediately. Do you think Soldier Boy played this game and freaked out every time Barrett said his name? This is probably the best day of his life. Huh, you hear that? 
Do we gotta move. We gotta play the, the, the actual reason I'm here right now. <laughs> Finally, chat. That was literally the original demo. Oh, yeah. Oh, she's actually singing her music. Real pigeons. I love them. Rip. When the panel happened, y Yuffie's voice actress ran onto the stage like Yuffie would run. And everyone clapped. You got this, Yuffie. <clears throat> My name is Yuffie. Materia Hunter and Elite Special Forces Operative for the new Wutai government. I have orders to infiltrate Shinra headquarters and steal their ultimate materia. To prove to our common enemy that Wutai is not to be trifled with! Well... Thanks for telling us the audience. Your full support! We got this! I feel like Yuffie is an either you love or you hate character. And that said, I'm still pretty indifferent. However, this is cool. The fighting style is interesting. Um, I don't want to do... I see chat choosing best girls. Like, that is just kind of part of the Final Fantasy VII discourse, isn't it? I mean, it does... Genova is best girl. Uh, you... Listen, I'm telling you, Genova in that tank... With the eyeball on, on the titty... You know who's lesser Drake? The rapper. Greater Drake is the fucking Drake from Animal Crossing. Please, please let me kill. Now she cute! Get all my monies! Um, don't mind me, just slightly struggling here. So we have healing, we've got deadly dodge, I forgot to use that. Steal, parry, success, what well, I to do parry. Sir, a, an empty blue plastic barrel is present in this junkyard. I request that you beam me up immediately. Mr. Worf, you are a Starfleet officer, and you are afraid of a little blue plastic barrel? Yes, sir, I am. All right, one to beam up, Mr. Worf. Welcome back to the Enterprise. Thank you. If you need me, I will be in my J.O. chamber, Captain. Huh? I gotta do something. You know, Mr. Worf, I had a goon cave when I was a young lad in the Academy. Sir? Oh, yes. 23, 24. My goon cave was quite nice, in fact. Mr. Riker, did you have a goon cave? Of course, sir. I had the best goon cave. Oh, no, no. Mine was much better. Sir, in Klingon culture, our goon caves were called... They were glorious. Filled with knives and spikes. Glorious battle. You don't say, Mr. Wolf. <laughs> Ooh, that was a very... Oh, oh God! Oh! Save me, crusty man. Save me, crusty man! I, I really have to, like, use them abilities that are being advertised, huh? We don't like- we don't like that. We don't like that. We don't like that. Don't do that. I'm trying. I'm- I'm just not doing it well. Oh, yes, my goon cave back in the academy was spotless. Well, there were some... some spots. But only the intended ones. Sir, that is very honorable. Oh! Hello, sir. It's me, O'Brien. I had a goon prison. That's right, sir. 
Well, it was a mind prison, really, but there wasn't much else to do in there. Twenty years, sir. Good lord, twenty years. Didn't age a day, sir. It's like a vacation. Mr. O'Brien, how would you feel about a promotion? When I was younger, I thought her name was Yuffie. I don't know, no one ever said these things out loud. Even until Remake came out, I was calling it Mako, and then everyone said it Mako, and I'm like, fine, you win. Or Vincent Valentine, I, I called him Vincent. Like, what the fuck fantasy-ass name is Vincent? Mako Reactor 5 has been temporarily shut down. And this bitch. She's awful. She's actually... She's bad. She's also best girl. <laughs> so, you're Avalent? I'm Gigi. Follow me. What? W wait up! Oh, it's Chudlet! Hello, I'm a Moogle. Are you Avalanche? Just... Alright, just ignore me. These two are Billy Bob and Polk. Who are these freaks? And that's Nio. My name is Yuki, Materia Hunter and Elite Special Forces Operative. The new Tiger Hornet. I have orders to infiltration or ATU and their ultimate materia. Just work to our client and have a chance not to be Members of the We got this! But I did bring these, Wu Tai's famous da chow beans. Eat up. And here you go. Uh, huh. hmm. oh. Fertilized in the finest oh. poop. <laughs> Sheesh, you ninjas are insane. You haven't introduced yourself to Billy Bob? You should. He's got some intel you might want to hear. You should go meet Chadley, the famous Final Fantasy VII character that everyone loves. You look about ready to die of boredom. Wanna play Fort Condor? I'll whoop you so hard you'll wonder if you ever knew the rules. For my benefit, then. Let me go over them. Wait, what is this? Wait, Fort Condor? Like, from the original game? Oh, it's it's different. It's not the same kind of strategy game, I, I don't think. Even though the music is a nice little callback. It's a bizarre minigame, but fun. I like that they're... <laughs> They're Final Fantasy VII uh, stylized with Popeye arms. Chat, true story, I had a memory unlocked recently, which is I thought my first exposure to this game was the Gold Saucer. Okay, I have three distinct memories of the first time I saw this game. One were the commercials, and I remember seeing it at my cousin's house. And the commercials were like, the advertising campaign for this game was insane. Two is this dude Frank, one of my friends, had a PlayStation before I did, and he was up to Fort Condor. And I went over to Hang, and he was playing Fort Condor. And third was this other dude that I was in school with was playing this game, and I went over, and he had a big screen TV, and he was on the gold saucer. So it's funny because my first real look at gameplay in Final Fantasy VII were the mini games more than the actual game. And I remember the music, his grandfather was like, TURN THAT SHIT DOWN! Because the music was like, do 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 <laughs> Isn't it Turtle's Paradise? I salute you, Happy Turtle. People call him Old Not Snapper. Not turtly enough for the Turtle Club. Turtly enough for the Turtle Club. Turtly enough for the Turtle Club. I'm gonna go do some recon. I won't stop you. Just don't go too far, okay? Mm. This guy's totally enough for the Turtle Club. Oh, the joy and cheer that away that the Happy Turtles. <laughs> what the fuck am I playing? Uh, great work, Chuck. Ah, don't freaking scare me like that. I'm highly strung. You're trying to kill me? I think I remember this fucking guy. Yeah, like how to bag that sweet, sweet Fort Condor prize money. It's my ticket. Put on a shirt. So this is where most of my time will be going in this DLC, yes? Okay, everyone, listen up. Time for Stan, the loyal little helper. Why is there a... <laughs> Moogle lady, you're in the way. Get out of the way, Moogle lady! Yo, I just got 30,000 points. 
Okay, I'm gonna buy some diamonds now. My guys are dead. <laughs> okay. No doubt. Okay. Dead. Speeding up the gameplay wow, was. A, I just bought more land in the metaverse. Was a wise choice. But I hate Hell you. Hell yeah! Move the key. Now this was a bad bit. <sighs> All right, gamers, catch you later. What the fuck is- what were you doing? Lurching. Not that lurching is illegal or anything, but why is- why are you lurching? It's nice to see that they improved the PNG of the, um, upper plate of Midgar. Now that is Midgar music, if I've ever heard it. Suck! 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 Dude, you like how I just walk into the enemy multiple times taking damage? Wait, that's a problem. We don't want to be in there with the giant mantis creatures yet. Did that not work? Oh, it did, it did. It just had to explode. Oh! Get fucked. Damn, you got a lot of HP. Damn, you got some big ass feet. No, 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 don't go to sleep. Don't go to sleep. Yuffie, 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 please. No. Oh my god, I am at my motherfucking limit. Well, can't fault him for trying. Turtle paradise in your turtle lies as you go to sleep and you count your sheep. Ah! Hmm. Just gotta get the flyer. Oh, I didn't see the flyer. I thought I had to keep going. Yeesh. Press the button. What do I press the button. I pressed the button. Why did not the button? <laughs> this is the most difficult thing I've ever had to do in a video game. Just what do you think you're doing? I got it. If it isn't my favorite ninja, good to see you again. And if you ever find yourself with a few spare coins, remember old Snapper. No, I don't think I'd ever like to remember you ever again. My brain is already full. Candidate detected. Performing physical analysis. The she classic new character, Chudlet. ER missions. <laughs> So I'm not ready for this, huh? What a shame. It I'm back. Ah, there you are. Somebody's <laughs> been expecting you. What took you? Sorry about that. Anyway, it's nice to meet you. I'm Sonan Kasakabe. I was lucky enough to learn how to fight from good- Yeah, I don't want to talk about him. They pulled this guy right Let's out of Monster Hunter World. Like At any rate, I'm looking forward to working with you, boss. Boss? As in me? Well, I've got a few years on you, I'll admit. But out of us two, you've done this longer. She was an I egg. Get used to that. And, uh, doing being stuck on the combat. Rung, that's After we get the materia, we can celebrate your promotion at the Happy Turtle. Yeah, yeah! <laughs> stupid bird. No, not stupid. That's a dove. I have some first-hand experience with doves at this point, and yes, I was feeding doves, and I watched one dove body check another dove so hard that it just went like flying off like a ledge but you know it was fine because it flew it flew but it was just watching it happen it was like a slow motion moment of trying to get to the food and it was just it just crashed into the other dove the one that body checked the dove barely even like recovered 
can I assume you're ready to do battle? With I am. I, I have uh, this dude. I think they in um they have synergized. They they have that in in rebirth. The the synergy attacks. Finished synergizing. What a shame. It was a close match. Chadley, if you have, However, I you did manage swear to God, Chadley. <laughs> Just barely succeeded. Ooh. All right, one more time. One Can more time. Why is he wearing a Donald Duck outfit? Summon? I don't know. I don't understand Chadley. I don't understand him. He confuses and scares me. There we go. I got the perfect block. Ooh, I got it. Oh, I got the thing. You gotta play this like DMC. Oh, DMC. We got the limit break. Yeah. Upgrade weapons when you can. How do you upgrade weapons again? Wait, wait, wait. What? You can upgrade weapons? I forgot about this mechanic entirely. Uh, what's up? Those guys there are from the Splinter Cell. Splinter Cell? They used to be with Avalanche, but left Sam Fisher. after a policy dispute. Hmm? Well, look who it is. Loving your work. So how many reactors is that now? Uh, wait. Where's Cloud? <laughs> we lost him. Now, can we talk about President Shithead? <laughs> Spouting all that crap about us? That lying son of a bitch! Working for Wu Tai! Avalanche ain't nobody! Barrett! Oh. <laughs> I mean, how could it be the big guy with the gun on his arm anyway? Right. <laughs> Don't play the Tifa music. All right, now we're back to Yuffie. Oh. For the record, I don't mind Yuffie. It's more like, you show me Barrett and Tifa, and then you play Tifa's theme a little bit. I'm going to want more of that. <laughs> <laughs> See that one? <laughs> Those looks, I guarantee, you're golden. <laughs> so what do you say? Ready to be queen of the Undercity? Hey! What am I? Chopped liver? <laughs> Let's get going. What are you doing? Get your hands <laughs> off me! Now don't go playing hard. <laughs> oh. <laughs> sure. Whatever helps you sleep at night, little girl. Oh, they want more concussions. Got it. <laughs> Who is singing? <laughs> like there's just vocals? How do I summon Ramu? I want to show them the power of a god. Come on, come on, come on, come out of your shell! I keep reading his name as Spoon when I look to the bottom right real quick. I think that would have been a cool name. It would have been memorable. I mean, they got a guy in this game called Cloud. Boss! Boss! You're not gonna believe this! The hottie of the century just fell right into our lap! She did? <laughs> Goods under the hood, junk in the trunk, and down for a bumpy ride. See you around. It's Tifa. Chad, it's Tifa. Okay. It happened very quickly. Wow. Hey, I'm talking to you. Answer me. Well, uh, uh look, a Moogle. Huh? <laughs> Stop! What the fuck? Hey! Like, actually the worst guards of all time. Just think, chat. This is where we'll be seeing uh, the next 30 years of Square Enix game set in Midgar. Midgar it will, <laughs> will be the Tatooine of the Final Fantasy VII Extended Universe. No, no, fight! We're still fighting, no? 
Okay, I guess we just made friends with a Drake. Never mind. Sometimes I give myself the creeps. It all keeps adding up. I think I'm fucking up. He's got a very particular way of singing. I think when he sings in that voice, he's able to sing higher. Sorry, it's, it's one of those things where I can't, like, if I get that song in my head for a minute, I have to, like, finish it. Otherwise, it's going to be stuck there forever. This is kind of cool, what they're doing with the music here. I mean, again, it's not under the rotting pizza, Uematsu brilliant music, but they're doing some interesting things with it. Yeah. No sleeping on the job. How you like Ooh. Ooh. I've got you. God damn it. Psst, you fuck. Can you, like, stop self sacrificing and just use a fucking Phoenix down like a, a normal person? Holy shit. One HP. He's dead immediately. <laughs> what the fuck? Am I, what was going on? I'm trying to. Oh! <laughs> ah! I don't know why I didn't think to do that. So much easier when the ice attack actually happens. That'll take care of you. Oh god, it didn't work. We like the pain. I took a chance. I took a chance. Holy shit. That that one random like dog was just really tough. Hey, about what you said earlier. Which was about Avalanche, how it's changed. Imagine, like, saying that while running horizontally on a wall. That scared me. Hearing them in the background going, one, two, three, four, I thought there was someone, like, in the other room. I'm like, what the fuck is that? It was like a holophonic. It was 3D. I kind of really like how this song morphed. Someone said it, like, slowly evolved from my dad's taste in music to my taste in music. The HP up is all well and good, but I think he would be better off with Revive. He auto-revives Vin, he literally can't use it. <coughs> Spoon auto-destruct. Do you remember when Wendy's was trying to make the Fapoon a thing? I'm sorry, I don't watch anime. What is this? Oh, that's who I've been playing as. <laughs> oh. Never mind. It's just some kid. Hey, who are you calling a kid? Knees broken. Wow. Okay, hang on, chat. I just looked it up real quick. The advertising campaign from Wendy's was Do a Frosty. There, oh, it, it's not weak to much. I'm trying to figure out how to use this shit. Oh! Old man, look at my life! I'm a lot like you were!
Oh, man, I fucking summoned Ramu at the wrong time. Dude can't really even do a whole lot, can he? No. Wait, what? Oh. I'm not sure why it even gave me the option to use that attack. <laughs> Come on. What? Oh, dude, yeah, no, use it. Y yeah, use it. Oh, that wasn't it. Are you some- what? Yuffie just said get wrecked. Shinra makes the dumbest shit. I swear to god. There's echoes of it. Oh god, we gotta heal up. Oh shit, okay, we're doing this, okay. That'd, that'd do it, though. That'd do it. You have ninjutsu. Yeah, but... <laughs> you see that? You forgot how to use ninjutsu. Yeah, I have. Yep. You just hold the button. I'm gonna go report to the others. Good luck up there. See you soon. Yeah. If only Chadley was here. Final Fantasy VII. Just saying how much I was looking forward to playing Fort Condor. I could really use the training, you know. Sure. I'll Someone said Fort Condor places. is really all that's left. Do you what do you mean? Oh, you mean like the side stuff? Assassin's board is fast. You don't get bored. That's for sure. Don't laugh at that or minus two it. Just ignore it. When I say shit like that, your best move is to just pretend I didn't say anything. It's really the best option. I just kind of feel bad for the, uh, the other character now. Don't mean to be rude or anything, kid. But do you mind? I'm not exactly in the mood. Whose cake is that? And I'm not talking about Jesse's cake. Oh, that's Fort Condor. Never mind. <laughs> Plot ghosts. Boss, I don't think we'll be back here anytime soon. So make sure you're ready for anything, okay? Oh, I'm ready for anything. We're good here. Who's Melfi? My sister. She trained under your father at the same time as me. And she had such promise. Had? The war was ending. But a Shinra mech went haywire near a crowd. And she had to do something. It's Ed 209. We deserve what's coming to us. I just want to be smothered what floor? The with love and affection Advanced from Scarlet. Huh? Uh. Which she would never give, by the way, because she doesn't know how to love. <laughs> hey, what are you doing in this... I think not. Foreign visitors should take the scenic route. 
I was gonna say trope Damn fulfilled, it. but no, she she knew. They're, they're always getting the interesting camera angles on Scarlet. Teenage must roll out the red carpet. Did you really just say that? Keep me apprised, would you? Ma'am. Why is he crawling on the floor like a dog? <laughs> what? Ah, metal gear. You need the three key cards. Mm -hmm. One's hot, one's cold, one's medium stench. Talk about hitting the jackpot. This must be where they make their materia. Totally. You, Yuffie, you don't understand. Materia is made from people's souls. Well, kind of. Debatable. I mean, well, maybe. Sorry, can't see Nana again. We gotta run the microwave. I just wonder if, say, all those memories and spirits do get used in microwaves. Like, if you heat up a burrito, is that like your grandma is dead? You know? Try it again. Yeah, denied. Yeah, yeah, denied. Keep trying it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like yeah is the most versatile word in the English language. It can be used in many ways. What do you think materia smells like? Haha. Uh -huh. Grandma? Keep doing it. I kind of remember this from um, remake. Boy, I did fucking miserable. I just y you f stop jumping back, you. F You know what? We don't- we don't need those. Yeah, windstorm, motherfuckers. Ah. Uh. Come on, you more time! Come on, Jamie, please! How do you navigate games when you don't have a chat room? What do you mean, chat? When I don't have a chat room, what, is it, what does that mean? I've been streaming so long that I have an internal chat room, judging my every move, knowing that everything I do is both based and cringe, both at the same time. That sounds horrifying yet freeing. Now I don't want to do a plot point spoiler, but what if? I mean, it's not really a plot point spoiler. But what if when Cloud was um, in Shinra ascending the ranks? Someone broke in to steal the materia. Like, someone like Yuffie did this, and that was like Cloud. That guy, like right there, this guy on the floor, dead. What if that guy was like Cloud? Well, I, I guess, um, either there's a new Cloud, or that's it. The, the planet's fate has been sealed. The dirty dish rags would probably stop it, though, to be, to be fair. No more as dirty dish rags, I'm gonna call them. That is now my official name. In order to create that much power, you know how many grandmas had to be pulped? The better the memories, the more electricity, chat. Like, creamed grandmas. You're back at the start now. Yeah, we're in the, in the purple sex chair room. They have, they have lightsabers. They have lightsabers, really? Jesus. Need cure fast. Whoa. 
thought I heard the Roblox oof just now. Like, I know I guarantee I did not hear that, but... I swear it went oof! Like, it was very close. Found out what they want. But why is he a dog? We think so. we why? why sure I don't understand this. Is... Was that plot line explained in remake? The one where he is a dog. She's literally a dom with a whip and everything, and he she just has a man slave. You know, it definitely fits the Final Fantasy VII vibe. <laughs> Shit. Christ. Hang on, chat. Hang on. Don't do that. This DLC is actually pretty tough. Vinny, you are playing on hard mode. Wait, I, am I? No, I'm playing on normal mode, chat. I'm just, like, not good. <laughs> That's the, it seems like hard mode. I can't even see what's happening. Shinra sure makes some stupid things. It's crazy, if she's an old hag, she's probably like 10 years younger than me. Wait, how old is Scarlet in Final Fantasy VII? Does anyone know? Probably, she's like 37? 40, apparently? Google says she's 40. Does Google know for sure? I want answers, goddammit. Alright, what's her cup size? Huh? What? No, I just wanted to know if Google knew. I hear in the Final Fantasy VII universe you can use materia to increase your penis size and uh, Robertson size as well. So, memories of grandma can be turned into penis enlargement materia. <laughs> I shouldn't be laughing. Oh god, it hurts. Oh god. Oh! Well, we, we've, uh, we've, you know, we've come full circle. Where are we? And the creamed what grandma plotline has turned shit? into pure on. degeneracy. At uh, long last, anyway. To join I say that, and she has a manslave, so I don't know. Admirably. Manslave! Allow me to present the latest innovation in Shinra Designed by yours truly. She has her own scarlet mech. Cherish for the rest of your lives. All 30 seconds of them. That's funny. Yeah, there's the good music. I think I just knocked Scarlet out. Chad, I don't know what's happening right now. The fuck was that move? I've never seen that like that. It was just jump. Oh. Come on, old, do more. Yuffie, what are we using that limit break on? The wall? I, okay, that was happening again. The old jump and pump, they call that move. Yeah. Yeah, well, yeah, Ramu. Get that shit. Yeah, get that shit real cheesy. Yeah, heal up. Fucking giant ass sword. It's not as big as Cloud Sword, but it's still pretty big. How many grandmas did you fucking cream to get that sword? No! You fuck. You fuck. Oh god, I didn't even have a chance. Use the thing. Yeah, do the thing. Yeah! Oh! 
good move. Here it is. Maybe. Almost, almost. Limit. Actuators weren't up to the task. Time for an overhaul. Hello! Hmm? Proud of yourself, little savage. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> okay. Sleep well. Vines, this is a surprise. To what do I owe the pleasure? <laughs> uh, These idiots want to digitally replicate me, so I'm indulging them. Chat, what is this okay. shit? Dirge of Cerberus? Wait, why are they bringing that into this? Oh, it's Chudlot. There he is. Regrettable though it is, other plans have been deemed a higher priority. What other plans? <laughs> well... Just between you and me, my colleagues and I are going to drop plate number seven on the slums. Why would you tell people and that? Going, I don't get it. You're gonna drop a plate? And? Well, first I need materia. Actually, you know what? No, I take that back. First I need to do something. These are Nomora's assholes from Dirge of Cerberus. Final boss is CBT. So I don't remember Dirge of Cerberus. I played it one time. But I actually physically recoiled when I saw those, like, those dudes in that cutscene. So I'm guessing I didn't like Dirge of Cerberus all that much. I'm down. So this is a projection. There's that silly move again. Also, I don't know what this creature is. It's a diabolic creation. And it's like, that's not descriptive enough. I think it has something to do with, um, Dirge of Cerberus, but... I, I don't remember that game at all. Something something Genova sells. Genovasi. <laughs> I'm at my McFucking limit right about now. I'm not using my limit until I can attack the projector. I want to save a big thing for that. Oh, well, there you go. That's good. That is good. Oh, I was hoping it. Oh, fuck you, game. No. No. Shit. God, this boss is fucking annoying. Uh, hello, chat. <clears throat> Any chat who is just joining. Uh, sorry, my voice sounds like this. What's his name? The fuckface. Crisis Core fuckface. No, uh, Dirge of Cerberus fuckface. It's time. Initiate the TVA field test. Sir. Yeah, can we get a couple more belts and zippers on this character? Where my brother and I like to play. Nah, I I'm gonna pass on this villain. Now, let the games begin. With this company. Uh, Nero? His name is actually Nero, like Devil May Cry Nero. 
Uh, no weaknesses. Chat, I, I don't know who this character is, or don't remember, but I want to kill them purely based on how much I hate the character design. So that's a sufficient enough motivation for me. He's got like the edgy tattoos from the late 90s that everyone was getting, including Mario. Oh, they're doing big music here. Yep. Wait, why old man go away? Oh, I don't even know what happened. Chat, I don't even know what happened. Someone just said, what the heck is even going on? I don't, I wish I knew. Save me. Save me, Twitter porn bot. What a thrill. Okay. Okay. Um... Do you think they put that mask on him because he keeps fighting Cox? I think he does. Yeah, synergize that shit. Synergize! Yes, I was trying to get that before the stagger. I couldn't get it. Oh, I love to see Nero in pain. And not because of some weird reason. I just don't like him. He should be speaking more like this. This is where you die. Should be like Kenny from South Park. So many scripted moments. Behold the true beauty of darkness. I hate him. Oh my god, do I hate this guy. Yeah, there you go, Ramu. Yeah, use that lightning. Big lightning. Fuck you. Destroy the bitrate. I don't want any of my viewers to process any of what they're seeing. Darkness courses through me. Still alive? Ah, oh, you shithead. No, don't kill Yuffie, no! This is where the failure begins. Cool, God. It's a little hard to visually process everything. Oh, there we go, there we go, stagger. Hell yeah. He loves it. No, let's finish this. Don't gotta tell me twice. And hopefully we will never see him again. Did we? Don't want to spoil the moment. The dude works at my Asia local hot topics as a chat member. I'm so tired. I thought I was a hero, but my name is actually Nero. Hey, ah, <laughs> uh, he's still. Oh, I'm more upset that he's still alive and less upset that Sonon is now dead. I mean, he's not in Final Fantasy VII. He ain't gonna be in Final Fantasy VIII either. 
Yeah, you're right about that. He would be the perfect foil to Zell and his hot dog eating fetish. Oh, Zell's a glizzy gobbler, make no mistake. Oh, this is an emotional moment. Hang on, sorry. I'm I'm trying to cry, chat. Like an actor. I wanna I wanna have like an award-winning performance. I'm thinking about Queen Elizabeth. Oh wait, I'm not crying, I'm laughing. That was, someone just said in chat, that was way too long. That could have been done, he could have eaten the bean and died. And I would have been fine with that, personally. That's them dropping dropping the Sector 7 plate on the slums there. Boy, we just went through a lot of things very quickly. Don't think I can do this alone. <laughs> The amazing Yuffie wants you! Join her team and the sky's the limit! But there's no one there. What are you talking about? Small one. What? Wow. Okay. Hey, Barrett? Well, this is directly... Are you really walking the whole way? ...after the end of yep. FF7 Remake. Anyway, marching into the unknown ain't easy. But don't worry, this music is I'm nice. Lead the way. <laughs> That's comforting. Of course it is! <laughs> did, did he almost right, smile? Everyone. Guess this is goodbye, City of Mako. Oh wow, they're doing a lot here with the calm music. I chat, wasn't this the Yuffie DLC? Why are we getting so much of after the end of Remake? This is why people wanted you to play it? Oh, okay. <laughs> Barrett, <laughs> just shoot the tires, man. Oh wait, that would be a bad idea. I, I think they're I think they're great. What is it with these damn birds? <laughs> uh, uh, sorry about that. No need to apologize, man. It's Choco Chocobo Bill. His name should just be Chocobill, no? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Barry, why is he singing? <coughs> That's amazing. Been a while, huh? Long time no see. Does Zach have a new voice actor from How the been? Crisis Core remake? Hey. No, that's him. That's the same one from the Crisis Core remake. I'm back. The hell is wrong with these people? Now, when did that Zack scene happen? So, <clears throat> I was gonna, I said what's wrong with them, but the plate fell. So, um, I'm wondering, was that actually, so there's two Buster Swords? I mean, there's a lot of questions with Rebirth coming out. One of the things that the remake and Rebirth, I think, are doing are they're playing with expectations because we, the players, already know how the story goes because you know, this is one of the most sold RPGs of all time. And most people that are getting the Final Fantasy VII Remake, you know, are very, very familiar with the story beats. So clearly they're doing different things. 
Whether or not it pans out, I have no idea if it will. It's possible they could fuck it up. They said they're going to hit generally the same story beats. They said they're going to keep the, the spirit of Final Fantasy VII the same. I want to be surprised. You know, I do. I actually do want to um, see if new things happen. Because I've played Final Fantasy VII so many times. I'm so f familiar with that story that if they're going to try some different stuff, I'm okay with it. As long as it makes sense. And it probably won't, unless you have a four-hour video essay describing it, but, you know, that's okay. Um, but I do know this. One, one more thing I'll say is... I don't know if it was Hamaguchi or Nomura, but someone said that Crisis Core was very important to the story of Rebirth. And that is something that both uh, upsets me and scares me a little bit, but also... I'm curious what that even fucking means, because um, Crisis Core is fine. I have some issues with it. I like Gungaga. I like a couple things. I, I see what they were doing with Genesis and Angeal, like being the other like paths Sephiroth Sephiroth could have gone down. But the whole tone of Crisis Core is just so wacky, and um, and it feels very like lame to me like I look at I play that game it's fine but I I mostly I'm sorry to say this I kind of just laugh at it uh, and Zach is fine in his own game but as a kind of an ancillary character I'm, I'm fine with him being more in the background he's a Zach Brown character and I'm cool with that so I hope I hope they find a way to balance it out I hope that the story they're gonna tell makes some sense I hope it doesn't fuck with the original flow of, of the game too much but I am curious to see some new things, and I like the idea that we don't fully know what's going to happen. And Nero was the worst thing I've ever seen on my television. Like, I've seen some shit that was like the shittiest of shit. 